Hey guys, uh, this is Andy. So you might be wondering, how did I got to this park without having to wear my glasses today, right? And you might have noticed, this is my key. So that's proof that I uh, did something that shouldn't be even be thinking about. But today, I'm going to show you how I do it. Through sun gazing. Look at the sun real quick. What do you see? You uh, barely uh, actually see the sun, right? Well, on there, uh, the sun might look uh, bigger than usual, but the thing is, is that's uh, the aura of the sun. The goal is to actually uh, gaze at the aura, not at its core. So first, when you start doing sun gazing, you have to do like at least ten uh, seconds on your first day, and then the days afterwards, try to gaze at least. 10 seconds in increments, uh, like uh, by 20 seconds, for example, on the second day. And then on the third day, you increase it uh, by 10 seconds increments afterwards. And some days, uh, like if you uh, sun gaze like me, where you do twice a day, at least increase it by 15. And uh, so before you do this practice, be sure you drink a lot of you know water, and you uh, must be able to uh, do some uh, sun walking where you'd stand on top of grounds like uh, where I'm standing with at least uh, some dirt on there because without then uh, those dirt uh, you won't be gathering enough energy you know, from the sun so uh, that's my best advice to you I'll uh, check with you guys after I do sun gazing This is Andy, coming back from the sun gazing practice about an hour ago. So, from from what I, uh, I've i seen from a lot of my fans and even uh, some of my friends that talked about sun gazing, they asked me, what is the benefit of sun gazing? Well, for starters, is that the first, on the first month, I, when I do sun gazing, I tend to have like what we call the headaches a lot of times. It's because from the fact that I've been wearing uh, glasses and especially like uh, my eyes were having a history of eight diopters myopia and I have like three diopters of a uh, of stigmatism where I uh, just couldn't see very well but the thing is is that on the first month I I was having a little a bit of headaches I just want to throw up and sometimes my eyes start hurting and there are moments like I, when I first do it I can just have them have some moments there where I, I couldn't sleep very well in you know, three months of sun gazing but me because I've been doing it for twice a day and increasing it by 15 seconds increments it it impacts uh, my eye and my body a lot there are days like I just slept uh, a lot less and I began to eat uh, from three times a day I just eat only two times and then by around four months that's when like I start uh, noticing uh, my vision start changing is that Right now, uh, like I'm wearing my my two diopter uh, glasses, but back then it wasn't as fun because when I first drove inside my car without my glasses, it was a almost a wreck. I almost caused a wreck on uh, the street a lot of times. By the time I hit like six months of sun gazing, right now I personally have uh, gone through a lot of diet change where. I eat once a day and yet uh, I only slept like five hours. There are moments like mom uh, makes me have to go to sleep at nine o'clock at night time but somehow I woke up like around two o'clock in the morning. Like how is it explained biologically? I don't know but somehow it does work. So I highly recommend that you guys try this and if you do have headaches just uh, back off uh, from the the sun for a while and you know, give yourself some time to recover and once you do that I recommend that you come back and try and try it again because the best thing is is it's better that you can you either uh, heal yourself or you die trying because like your body develops more resistance so whatever you do keep the consistent practice and I just hope you have a great day and See you around the next show. Oh,